y'all doing tonight, folks? Huh? How are we all doing? So as I want to tell you right now, this is, my name is uh, Freddie Stone. I appreciate you guys having me out here this evening. And uh, I just wanted to say that uh, I'm not from Maine originally, but I am now one of you folks. I've lived here for like the past eight years or so. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, um, it's part of the uh, Comedians Witness Protection Program. Uh, basically, I don't want to be discovered. And I said, basically, the Bangor area is probably the best place to be not to get discovered. So. Anyway, but, but I thought it was kind of interesting coming into Bangor at first. You know, you go right down Main Street, and the first thing you see is a big white guy with an axe. <laughs> what are you guys trying to tell me? <laughs> you know, don't screw around in Bangor, because you know what's going to happen to you. You know, Paul Bunyan's going to get you. And you keep driving up there, you go up to Route 15, right? And you say, what's that? Cow crap. Must be a Corinth. I don't know. Um... <laughs> It's interesting, you know, some of the things, I, I, I'm so glad, are you guys all glad? I mean, I am totally glad there's no more political commercials anymore. You guys happy to hear that? <laughs> you had enough of that? I mean, it just got more depressing every time. Paul LePage, right, who looks a lot like Fred Flintstone when you think about it, right? <laughs> and every time he gets caught in a lie, right, he sounds like Homer Simpson, you know? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's incredible. It's like, you know, it's, it's like, oh, well, you're going to be, oh, we're going to have no taxes for the working man. Well, we have no money. No! Oh! <laughs> and Libby Mitchell, my goodness. I mean, every time she come on TV, right, she dressed like the Martins lady. <laughs> you notice that? No matter what she said to me, all I kept hearing was, if you elect me, I'll give you deals lower than a lobster's belly. That's scary stuff. And you just when you think it couldn't get any scarier, you had that other guy there, uh, Elliot Cutler there, who, if he shaved his head, looked a lot like Dr. Evil, didn't he? Huh? Just... <laughs> scary stuff. I'm not used to it, right away. I'm not used to it. Not used to it at all, you know. I've had a lot of bad jobs, too. I used to work at a drugstore once, but they fired me because I used to take the labels off the preparation H and stick them on the denture grip, so. <laughs> I'll give you new meaning to the word jump start, let me tell you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. What's really fun was watch them come in the next day for the refund. Was it? <laughs> you got anything for constipation? Like maybe a backhoe? I'll settle for an ice pick and a stick of dynamite, anything. 